Are you tired of doing this? Tethering your Pico Cop to a computer just to try new firmware feels like a throwback and not in a good way. The whole point of a portable gadget is to be, you know, portable. The song and dance of plugging it in, waiting for it to connect, and dragging files over just kills the vibe. Especially when you just want to quickly test a new feature on the go. But what if I told you there's a better way? I'm going to show you how a simple one-time setup lets you flash pretty much any firmware you want directly from your SD card. No PC, no cables, no hassle. Let's get right into it. Hey there fellow makers and PicoCalc fans, I'm Jay Blinked and today we're going to perform a little bit of surgery that will completely change how you use your device. We're cutting the USB cord for good. The problem we're solving is all about convenience. While flashing firmware isn't exactly hard, it always keeps you chained to a computer. That's fine in your workshop, but what about when you're at a coffee shop or a hacker con and someone shows you some awesome new firmware you have to try right now. The secret sauce is a brilliant custom bootloader from a community developer named Pellrun. This tool, UF2 Loader, is what unlocks your SD card for flashing. Think of it this way, right now your PicoCalc only knows how to get new firmware from its USB port. We're going to teach it a new trick, how to find and install those same files from the SD card that's already sitting inside it. This is a huge deal. It means you can carry a whole library of firmware like PicoMite, PicoWare, custom calculators, emulators, all on one little card and swap between them whenever you want. This guide will walk you through the whole thing step by step. There's one part that needs a computer, but after you do it once, you're free. First, let's get our gear together. The list is nice and short, and you probably have everything already. First up, you obviously need your Clockwork Pi Pico Calc. This whole process works whether you have the original Raspberry Pi Pico inside or the upgraded Pico 2. The bootloader we're using is cool with both. Second, the SD card that comes with the Pico Calc. Third, for the one-time PC part of the mission, you'll need a micro USB data cable. I have to really stress the data part. A lot of cheap cables are for charging only and just won't work. And critically, we're using the micro USB port on the Raspberry Pi Pico itself, not the USB-C port on the Pico Calc, which is mainly for charging. Finally, you need the software. It's just a couple of tiny files from the Pell Run UF2 Loader project on GitHub. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly what to grab. And that's it. Got those things? You're ready for the one and only PC setup. All right, let's make this the last time you'll need to plug your Pico Calc into a computer to flash firmware. Our goal is simple. Replace the standard Pico bootloader with our new smarter one that can read the SD card. First, you need to download the right bootloader file from the Pell Run UF2 Loader GitHub page. Head over to the releases section and find the latest version. You need the UF2 file that matches your hardware. If you have a standard Pico or Pico W, grab the file named bootloader underscore Pico dot UF2. If you've upgraded to a Pico 2, you'll want bootloader underscore Pico 2 dot UF2. Next, we have to put the Pico Calc into its special bootloader mode. This is how the Pico tells a computer it's ready for new software. Make sure your Pico Calc is turned off and unplugged. Now, peek through the vents on the back. You'll see a tiny white button on the green circuit board of the Pico. Gently press and hold that boot select button. Now, while you're holding that button, Plug the micro USB cable into the port on the Pico board itself 
and connect it to your computer. The PicoCalc will instantly pop up on your computer as a mass storage device, kind of like a USB stick. If you're on a Pico or Pico W, it'll probably be named RPI-RP2. But if you're on a Pico 2 or Pico 2W, it'll be named RP2350. And now for the easy part, we're going to drag and drop the bootloader Pico file we downloaded earlier onto the drive. Once it's finished copying over, the drive will eject itself and the Pico will reboot. And you're done. You've just performed a successful brain transplant on your Pico Calc. You can unplug it from your computer now. And with the new bootloader installed, your Pico Calc now knows to look at the SD card for firmware. But first, we need to set up that card so it knows what to do. So pop your PicoCalc's SD card into a reader on your computer. Now, go back to the UF2 Loader GitHub release page where you got the bootloader. This time, we need the user interface files. These create the menu you'll see on your PicoCalc screen. Look for files like boot2040 for a Pico1 or boot2350 for a Pico2. It's totally safe to just download both and copy them to the main top level root directory of your SD card. Now let's make some folders for your apps. On the root of the SD card, create two new folders. Name the first one Pico1-apps. And then name the second one Pico2-apps. This setup is great because you can keep firmware for both Pico versions on the same card. And here's the fun part, loading up your firmware. Load up that Pico 1 apps and Pico 2 apps folder with all of the firmwares you want. You can check out my repository Awesome Pico Calc, which lists a ton of already made languages, games, and community projects by community Pico Calc developers. Once you've copied the files to your apps folder, your magic SD card is good to go. Eject it and pop it into your Pico Calc. This is the moment we've been working for. All the prep work is done. You're now officially untethered. Let's say you want to switch from whatever you're running to a different firmware on the card. Let's make sure the Pico Calc is off. And now for the secret handshake, press and hold the F1 key while turning on the Pico Calc. Instead of booting normally, the screen will spark to life with a new menu. This is the UF2 loader interface. You'll see a list of all the UF2 files you put in the apps folder. And using it is super simple. Use the arrow keys to scroll through the firmware list. When you find the one you want to install, highlight it and press enter. You'll see a progress bar as the bootloader copies the file from the SD card to the Pico's eternal memory. When it's done, the Pico Calc will automatically reboot and run the firmware. You've completely swapped your device's brain, no computer needed. You can do this over and over anywhere you are. Now that you've got this new superpower, here are a few tips to make things even smoother. First, what if you want to go back to the old bootloader mode to flash something new from your PC? You don't have to hunt for that little white button again. With the new bootloader, you hold down the F3 key while powering on the device. It'll pop up as a USB drive on your computer just like before. And second, for data transfer, you must use the micro USB port on the internal Pico board. Third, keep in mind, this is an active work in progress project. Some older or more complex firmware might not be compatible. For some apps to work correctly, they may need to be recompiled with the latest Raspberry Pi Pico SDK, specifically version 2.2 or newer. 
Also, remember that the Pico Calc has two firmwares, one for the Pico and one for the keyboard controller. The SD card method is only for the Pico. The keyboard firmware is updated through a completely separate process. So there you have it. A one-time 10 minute job completely frees your Pico Calc from your PC and turns your SD card into a go anywhere firmware library. Now you can experiment, test, and switch things up on a whim, truly unlocking what this amazing little device can do. I'd love to hear what this new freedom unlocks for you. Drop a comment below and let me know what firmware you're most excited to load up. Are you building a collection of different calculators or maybe switching between a coding environment and a retro game emulator? If this guide helped you out, hit that subscribe button for more Pico projects and tutorials. Click the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming up next. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.